go away. You're killing the shot, man. Go away. Excuse me. Hey guys, welcome back to another Effing Up Fridays right here on Effing Up Since 92. Thanks for coming back for another week. So uh, this week, I figured I was going to tackle, uh, not really sure. I think this week I'm going to be tackling uh, friends. Having friends is like, it's basic human nature. You can't not really have friends. It's, you just have them. You just do. They're everywhere. You can make a friend with anybody. You know? At least, at least I know that's my case. I can. I'm sociable enough to start spark up a random conversation with almost anybody, and we can we'll be best friends in like no time flat. Something I've learned in the time frame of everything is you really know who has your back for a lot and it comes down to who's there when you need it it's like who's there at random because who's there when you need it they matter but who's there at random that's even better if there's any advice i can give anybody about friends and all is to Choose wisely and choose carefully. You can't choose your family, but you can choose your friend. And more often than not, your friends become your family. With, the, with enough time, you're gonna be able to see who the F is there, who got you. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's them that's in your corner. They're the ones that matter the most, no matter what. And a friend isn't somebody that's there, here, or there, and just sparingly, or when it's convenient to them. It's somebody who's truly there for you. And I'm not saying that a friend is only somebody that's literally there every day. Because, like, look, I got best friends that I don't talk to every day, every week, or shit. Sometimes me and my best friends go months at a time without talking. But I know they got me in they know I got them. Cause like, look at we're grown people, we're adults, we have lives and we got stuff going on. But it never hurts, it never hurts me to know that they got me still. Like, if I get a random phone call, Hello? Hey, what's up man? Yo, what's up? Oh, nothing, dude. I'm just, just calling, checking in on you, seeing how shit is. Haven't heard from you in a while, so just making sure you're still alright, my dude. Yo, thanks, man. I appreciate that. That goes a long way. I know who's in my corner. When I get a, when I get a text from somebody that wants to go out and chill or whatnot. Yo, what's up, man? What's good? Same old same. How about you? Pretty alright. I'm hungry though. You trying to go out and eat? Nah, man. I'm tapped out. I'm dead broke. My dude, I got you today. Food's on me. My nigga. My nigga. That's a friend right there. And it's like, when you know a good friend, when you got a problem, your problem becomes their problem and they just got you. <sighs> Fuck. What's wrong, man? Man, just, just people got me twisted. They can, they, they can take weakness for kindness and all this bullshit trying to play me. Nigga, F that. I got you. I got your back, homie, all day. We got this. Let's go roll on these fools. My nigga. That's how you know who's about you. You'll know who is... Who is your ride or die when it comes to what they do for you, but not what they ask for you to do in return. That's when you're going to see the true measure of a friend. Someone that doesn't ask anything from you but know that you will 
be there if, if they needed to. That's what I like. I've gone through many trials and tribulations about things in my in my short 23 years here, where I've seen who's had me. Like people that are close, people that are closer than friends, haven't been there. Wonderful. That's cool. I'm not gonna throw no hate at you, but shit. People that didn't know me from a can of paint go and help me from being, stop me from being homeless, help me on my way to finding jobs, help me get through school. Like, I have a friend, I have a good friend I used to work with at the bar and liquor store. We talk about anything, we chill, all that, in our good times we got that. But when I'm at my, at one of my low points because I'm stressing over home homework, I'm trying to get done by a deadline. He'll just look over at me and go like, yo, Joe, I, I, got, I got this, I'll take care of this. Just, just worry about your homework for now, man. I got you. And it's like, that's how I know who is a good ass friend. And uh, I guess that's really just it. That's my take uh, for this week. And if I can leave you with anything, just remember who's there when you need it. And even when you don't need it, who's still there and doesn't want anything from you, it makes your life better and easier than people that swear they care, swear they love you and all, but aren't. Who use you for this or that, or make things destructive for you. Just think about that, and uh, remember, like, share, subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram, same thing, effing up since 92, uh, Twitter, effing up since 92, Facebook, effing up since 92, Snapchat, not effing up since 92. Hakeem Frost won. And uh, thanks for checking into another effing up since 92 production. Uh, stay tuned for more effing up Fridays. Love you guys. Later. Yeah.